Down here. You can put that down. Oh my gosh. Tree next to him. Oh yeah, that's a good one. One that ran in here, so he might be able to be grabbed. I got it right there. Watch your head. Oh. Oh. Grab that back leg. Now apparently there is a turkey of some sort right here. Hey, Mr. Turkey. This is the Iguana Man. Thanks for checking out the Iguana Man YouTube channel. This year we're going to be going on some amazing adventures, so thanks for tagging along. Like, comment, hit the red subscribe button, and I hope you enjoy the video. He's right there. You want me to get him? There's two of them. Look, look how they're... You get him? If you can. Look how they're just moving in the... <laughs> Got him. Oh, he's still going. Give he's me another one. Give me another one. Give me another one. He, there's a little guy right there he's moving with. They're, they're like moving together like through the jungle. <laughs> like two monkeys. But they're lizards. Oh my gosh. There it is. That was it. Nice shot. Out here. Nets out here. You can put that down. Oh my gosh. Tree next to him. We just heard a little ruckus in the bush, and it was just two iguanas. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Another little guy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you got it? Yeah, he's got it. <laughs> it's a chunker. Oh, a lot bigger than we thought, I think. You know spring is here, you know, when you've got iguanas walking in the iguana man's backyard like that through his mango tree. We got all these baby fish out here too. That's how we know it's that season. Nice. Yeah, me and Michelle were just back here sighting in her rifle, making sure it confirmed a zero and just, just out of nowhere. Uh, yeah, boy. Male. He's got two little lumps. Yeah, yeah, hold on, hold on. Let me see should if I can... touch it. Should I boop its nose? Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think... I don't think he had coffee either. It's still there. It's still there. Uh, gonna boop? Should I boop? Is it a bee? I don't know what it is. I don't know what that is. It's, it stings me. That is a un uh. unidentified fi flying object. He's still there. He's still there. It's it's hovering like a hummingbird or like a helicopter, you know? Like a... It's a spy. Don't say that now. <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> it's what? That's crazy. All right. Nice work, Michelle. Yeah. Look at that. Putting breakfast on the table. Really? Yeah. See the iguana. He's in the wrong place at the wrong time. These dinosaurs were just moving through the bushes. To the... All right, so me and Michelle were just having a discussion real quick because she basically studies like the ecology and the biology of some of the uh, ecosystems out here. That's right, right? Like, so I'm learning. Specifically water quality though, right? Yeah. Thing uh, about our ecosystems and water quality. It's what I'm kind of studying in school, but I'm finding articles popping up that are kind of alarming. So down in Big Pine, it looks like they're having some kind of issue with fish um, acting erratic and uh, kind of like dying down in Big Pine. Sawfish. Shock. Oh! Look out. Oh, oh What the hell? And break hearts. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, buddy. According to FWC, since December, at least 21 critically endangered small tooth sawfish have been reported dead. Separately, more than a dozen species of fish have been seen spinning and acting erratically. Well, back in February of last year, I noticed that uh, pinfish started behaving odd, like they were playing dead and, and they, some of them were spinning. That's why after he saw that first pinfish, he pressed record and hasn't put down the camera since. First I was scared and now I'm just curious of what the environment's going to turn into if this keeps on progressing. What is he doing? Yeah. 
It's that curiosity that's fueling both residents and tourists to document these bizarre behaviors from Key West, now all the way north to Key Largo. We're up in the Upper Keys right now off of Key Largo, and um, this is, to our knowledge, the first time that we're seeing our fish spinning. We have a very serious situation in the Lower Florida Keys now that could be spreading to the Middle and Upper Keys. And you were just saying that there was some kind of contaminant leak in... Yeah, and some of these areas have like old aging infrastructure. Uh, it's apparent that uh, maybe some sewage leaks are actually happening right now, and that's just the word what I'm hearing, but there's basically a, there's a I, I was shrimping the other day and there's like a big shrimp die off. And you just mentioned that there's a big, there's a fish and a turtle die off now yeah, too, Yeah, huh? so there's a uh, virus going around called Fraser virus. It happened back in December and it's still ongoing. And I've been doing some surveys, volunteering with FWC and just on one little levee, I'd probably like a five mile radius, we counted 24 dead um, soft shell lighter turtles. And then we did another survey and we found 16. So power of what like pollutants can do to the so ecosystem. Sad. Uh, you know, you got all this, so many people in this area, like civilization yeah. is, is popping and a lot of people are careless on what they're doing with their waste and they're just dumping it right into the yeah. ocean, and, right into the uh, areas too. And then we have, like, we're in Florida, so our whole composure of underneath our state is limestone. And we have people that are dumping things into our aquifers, near the aquifers, it's leaking into the aquifers, which is our freshwater drinking areas. And just so you know, um, just some really cool facts, not everything that goes through our wastewater treatment is going to get filtered out. We've got to really have a better concern of what we are putting into our bodies and then also what we're letting out into our ecosystem. All right, guys, welcome back. We're back here with the gang. It's your friend Raj, the Iguana Man. We got CJ, the Iguana Ninja. And we got Michelle riding with us today. is some of the ones that we're looking for. Check this one out right here. Absolute massive, full of eggs. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're gonna bag this one and there's a couple of them right across. Oh, we're gonna have CJ and Michelle see if they can take them out. Y'all ready? Let's get it. If you miss, I got your back up. <laughs> nice shot. Next one. There's one in the middle, little guy. I'll get him. All right, that's all you. Oh, in the middle. Right there. Oh, you missed I him. I see him. Got I him. got him. This one, this one under the tree right next to you, yeah. You going for that right one right there? No, that's all you. No, oh, get him. Good shot. Let me get it. I need to stop moving for a sec. There Got it him. is. This way. Actually, no, we're good right here. We're good right here. Back back? Yeah. There's a nice green one right there. Look at that thing. Bright green. I right, get him from here. Yeah, I see him. Little gray one? Yeah. It's gonna be kinda hard to see them now. They're all camouflaged in this brush. I know we got the one that ran in here, so he might be able to be grabbed. Take a minute, see if you can locate 
crunch, crunch, crunch. Oh, what do you got? Oh, that looks like an iguana, maybe. Jungle Adventures with Iguana Man and Ninja. Iguana Ninja and Iguana Man. Well, that's not a, that's not an iguana. Is that a possum? It's probably a, maybe. Some type of mammal of some sort, right? It's definitely look got some the, feline. Look at the Look at the canines teeth. on that one. Yeah, the canines, look at those things. That's gnarly. All right, bring that, we can bring that. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Maybe one of you guys can help us identify that skull. We'll give you guys a better shot of it here in a second. All sorts of animals are running through this game trail. Reptiles, mammals. There's supposed to be a lot of birds out here too. Not seeing too many of them. Heard a couple. This looks like it might be a maybe a raccoon. Honestly. That's a fat female? That's a chunky monkey right there. Oh yeah. Bloody hell. Jeez. She's probably got enough to repopulate this lake area. <laughs> so many. She's on a solo mission. Nice. All right, time to get a recovery. Collect the bounty. So far, we've eradicated three uh, driving females from this area. It's, it could be average of about 100 eggs taken out just from those three individuals, which is, you know, phenomenal. Got it right there. There goes another specimen. Let's grab it with eggs. It's not it's not even really that big. But the myth is is uh, iguanas can start reproducing as early as 14 months, which is about a year and a couple, right? Year and a couple months. An iguana is, is has reached peak maturity uh, for breeding at least. On the ground or in the tree? Oh, I see him. Oh, I see him. Nice. Dang, you're good with that thing. <laughs> you got another fat Sheila right above you. Woo! Oh. Sorry, I had to use my hands <laughs> to get back up. <laughs> Alrighty, Ninja. Got an alpha. He's right above me. What about you? Yeah. Oh, me? No, me. Oh, he's above me. Okay. You want me to move? No, he's above me. Oh. right here. Oh, and he's moving. Oh, he's a big boy. Oh, there I got you. Oh, watch your head. Oh, <laughs> hold on. Again. Hold on, hold on. Grab the back legs. Back legs. Good grab. There's one right there. Oh. Got him. There you go, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, falling in water. Grab it. Catch. He's out, okay. 
There's no one. I was kind of tiny. Nah, you the, the big feet, the big, oh look, right here, come right here, come right here, come right here. Right here, in the shade, right there, you see? Facing this one? Not this one, right there. Straight up. Straight up, from you? Yeah. Right here? No, no, no. Like <laughs> There's so many. 12 o'clock, 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock? Oh, I see it. Yeah, it's leg. Oh yeah, I see him. From here, where you at? I'll get out the way. Oh, he's about to move, get him. Oh, right in the head. Nice! Oh, it's fun, one, but it's not there. I, I got it, I got it. There's another one. Iguanas, ma'am. It's illegal. It's illegal. Okay, that's fair enough. That's right? my stuff. Okay, we don't want to upset you. So that's fair enough. We'll get this guy out, the one that's hung up there, and we'll be out of here, right? Okay. I think he's hung up there. He's right there. He's up there. Just free him. Just uh, show CJ. CJ will free him. On the right. Yeah, right to the bottom. Are you for the four here? No, to the right one. Mm -hmm. Right there. Your house in that building over there? Not this building right here? Can't get it. Oh, okay. This is her house right here? No, her house is over oh. there. See the, see the tree? Oh, up there. Yeah. I'm looking here. He's on the tree still, but yeah, that's yeah. Cool. he's coming down. Got it. There it goes. I just want to show you real quick. They're digging holes and they're grabbing right now. They got eggs. Each of them got like 60 eggs, 50 eggs. Uh, we, have, we have natural ways. We have, well, people would sell uh, freaking poisoning me. People Raccoons. Are, we don't want people to start poisoning them either. No, they better not poison them. That's, that's, that's horrible. That's illegal. That's illegal. Yeah. However, I swear I've seen some. Uh, we had a coyote that would come in here. He's gone. He's apparently got some kind of sickness. And we have natural raccoons and possums that eat all these eggs that people would just leave them alone. But, you know, old people have issues with. I mean, it's, it's not just. Even like dogs and you know, We got you. So I'm here to do what I can do. We got you. It's not just old people, though. It's a lot of, it's a lot of Floridians that plant like flowers, gardens, want to have landscapes. Also, like, you know, there's holes along all the burrows. If you look by so, that tree over there, there's several holes. I, well, I know, I'm a... The, the, at night, all those, all those uh, raccoons and possums, they go along here and eat all those eggs. Not all of them. Nine and ten. Oh, and eleven back there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's no, uh, wait. Oh, that's a female. Yeah, it's not back that way. Yeah. That's Maybe a male. Straight. See the bumps? That road? No. That. Definitely a male. <laughs> four females. We got four? Four. Four so far. Five. Five, okay. That one's gravid. Five. Six. Six. So we got seven gravid ones today. That's what you're telling me? Yep. Holy smokes. Wow. It's about the best time to get them when they're carrying their eggs. So they don't have any further invasions in your area. So if you guys have an issue with iguanas, right now would be the best time to call out a trapper to get rid of them off your property. Because right now they're going to get ready to lay eggs. Once they start laying those eggs, guess what? They're going to start digging holes. They haven't already. If they start <sighs> digging holes, they start digging holes along canals, as well as alongside any kind of structure. They'll dig underneath there, start laying those eggs. That, these females, they can hold up to, you know, up to 60 eggs, you know, 50 mm -hmm. eggs. We're not talking about one or two eggs. We're talking about a lot of eggs. Speaking of eggs, we do, we do want to see what kind of eggs they do have in them. So I'm going to uh, prep these iguanas for a second. Oh, yeah. Caught one like this yesterday. Probably a little bit bigger. Same size. Full of eggs. How do people make omelets? 
the eggs. So cooking it is just literally boiling the egg and eating it with some salt and pepper. Okay. Like having it like hard boiled or soft boiled or. And what would you say the taste is like? Uh, that Pam does wonders, guys. Non-stick. Oh, it's hot. Ooh, we got some serious heat. We gotta lower the heat a little bit. He looks really, really good. What you think, Gordo? Smells good. Smells good. What do you think about the texture right there? Mm -hmm. it looks like regular eggs. Does it, right? It does, Pure right? yellow yolk. All right, I guess I'm gonna try it, man. Bro, tastes just like a chicken egg. Rich, very creamy. Tastes amazing, actually. We had it. I had it. It tastes like a very like eggy egg. Egg egg. <laughs> An eggy egg. Yeah. There's no white. There's no white. Straight no yolk. white. It's straight just straight yolk. yolk. It's rich, yellow, bright, big bird yolk. I wonder if it will give you uh, that good cholesterol. <laughs> yeah, it makes your back nice and strong. <laughs> Talk about an egg melt. <laughs> Talk about not exaggerating. Not ah, check that out. It's just a massive amount. Good to open that bag for me. Look at that. And you see, it's crazy. It's like it's almost in like they're like like a sausage casing or like a membrane or something. Yeah. Oh, biology. Many that's people, finest. many people didn't believe that they could have that many. Biology is insane. Look at that. There's more coming out. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is a texture wow. that if you ever felt it, I don't think you ever want to feel that again. <laughs> and you notice how they're all white. So what that means, guys, is these, these eggs are going to be laid in the next couple of days, right? They are fully developed to be laid. Now, don't worry. You're never going to see a uh, baby lizard or anything like that in the eggs right now. They, they have to be laid and then... Uh, 90 days after laid, they incubate, and then that's when the baby iguana will hatch. So right now, there's just only yolk in here, you know? And just like the iguanas, the chicken of the trees, the eggs are also uh, edible as well and considered delicacy, have a lot of potent nutrients. It's really good to eat, really good. It's a little bit gamey, um, but you know, uh, we're gonna actually prepare some of these in the traditional style of how they do it in South America. It's very popular in El Salvador, Ecuador. These are pets gone wild. So we have the full approval and authority to come out here and humanely catch these iguanas. Dude, we got turkeys. What? All those turkey hunters down the glades and there's one right at your house? Dude, how? What? Where did that? Where'd, that was it a, go? where'd it go? Oh my goodness. Dude, I'm about to catch that turkey. So spring is sprung, as you guys can see. We had some iguanas, and now apparently there is a turkey of some sort right here. Hey, Mr. Turkey. Looks like one. Of course, I get a call. The most inappropriate time. Go in the back, there's a bigger cast net there. Go uh, go in the back, right after the fence, you'll see a bigger cast net. Alright guys, so we do have this turkey out here. Not quite sure how it got here, but you guys are seeing it. It's just pecking around. Not a care in the world. Still there. Still there. He's by your truck now. He's right at your truck door. Really? You about to get in your car. What is this turkey doing out here? This is crazy. He's about to go in the car. No he's way. He's right here. I can't catch him. Where's he at? He's, 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 dude, he's at my truck. Throw some food out. See if he'll eat it. So I, don't, I don't know if I have any food. Oh, yeah, I got some bread. We get, we get him out a little bit, right? Dude, that's sick. Ready? Yeah. 
Oh no. Oh, we're gonna get him, we're gonna get him. The, tur the, the turkey. Give us bread. Give us bread. He's not even phased. Let me throw it from a distance. Dude, you gotta get this turkey. You want a snatch point? I don't think we can. Wow. Hey, buddy. Spin around if you can, get some momentum. No? Got it? Oh! Look, he's not even phased. He's not. He's like, we could keep tangoing all day. Wow. All right, so he's probably gonna go off to the left. So I'll throw it off to the left. So it falls on. Come here, Mr. Turkey. Doing some bread? I'm trying to, yeah. Wow. Gonna run off to the right. Where should I throw the bread up? Throw it right here in front of him. We can snatch bomb. Go, 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 go. Oh! I got a snatch bomb. Get the snatch bomb. Come back here, we might be able to corner him. A rare and elusive turkey. He's, he's curious. Someone left the gate open. He's out. right there. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Go, 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 go. Go. I got him. I got the turkey. I got him. I got him. Oh. oh, you got him. You got him. Got All right. Him. Bro, we caught a turkey. We got him. We got a turkey. All right. Yeah, pull him down. It's okay. It's okay, Mr. Turkey. Don't want to hurt you. Is he going to bite me? Is he going to bite me? I don't know, but you got him. I got a turkey. I got a turkey right now on my hands. I got turkeys. I got turkeys. <laughs> we double double. Oh my god. Bro. Did someone get our escape? What is this doing in the yard? Yeah, that was a great catch. I guess we'll figure out what to do with this turkey. Wow. Uh, yep, you got him? Yeah. Sweet. What do you got to say? That was pretty cool, right? We wasn't expecting that. Double gobble turkey dinner? I tell you, man, the craziest things happen in my life. Just hang out right there. I guess you can add a invasive turkey to your removal, please. Uh, yep. <laughs> Looks so. Hey, he got me good. Holy smokes. <laughs> All right, sweet. Yeah, let me see you. Rock side it up. He's good. All right, guys, so we got this turkey right here. We're going to let him kind of hang out. We'll put some water for him, some food. And then we're gonna figure out what we're gonna do with this turkey. It's pretty sweet. Oh, shout out to Michelle. Michi, Go, Michi, Fishy going beyond iguanas and fish. <laughs>
catching turkeys. It's insane. Food, he'll be hanging out. We got a little black and blue. Got the sun on that thing. Oh yeah, right there. Yep. Yeah, I see it on the that camera. Patient, yeah. Yeah, he got me good. Shoot. Shoot. And out of nowhere, there's just a, a, a silly, like a turkey. Just I can't really make this stuff up. I guess it's something like it's a Florida thing. You know, like I mean, let, we knew that you know spring was gonna bring a lot of animals out, but turkeys, dude. That's a first. Turkey in his front yard. <laughs> <laughs> we just we tried to net it a few times. 